Welcome to a few seconds of Overwatch. I am D from the Omnic Post, and this is what happened this week in Overwatch. Holidays are over, and the Overwatch team have clearly shaken off their hangovers. During the week, Jeff and some of the developers actually hinted at a buff for D.Va and a nerf to Baptiste's immortality field. Blizzard wants to make that immortality field less oppressive. Yeah, I'm doing air quotes again. What about it? Love you. On Thursday, PTR clients started updating to a new version of patch 1.44. I'm going to save you all the numbers that come after that 1.44. Actually, if you read them all out really loudly, you might summon Jeff. 1.44.0.0.65134 Hi! Yeah, that wasn't Jeff! The update did indeed buff D.Va. Her booster's cooldown went down from 5 seconds to 3 seconds. Which has turned her in a freaking missile. She is never coming down. Never. For a lot of the other characters, there was less good news. Especially Baptiste was hit really hard. His immortality field had its duration reduced from 8 to 5 seconds, and the cooldown was increased from 20 to 25. You'll have to choose wisely when you deploy that little lamp. On top of that, the cost of his ultimate amplification matrix was increased by 20%. Do you actually think his ult is useful? Let me know in the comments. We knew something was coming, but this feels kind of harsh. I personally feel like they kind of overdid it and that this will not take all those better than soldier comments away. How about you? Other characters that were nerfed are me. Blizzard finally managed to rally an old priest and a young priest and they threw the complete supply of holy water at that little demon. Her endothermic blaster slowing effect now slows down the enemy for 20 to 70 percent, which used to be 30 to 90 percent. And the duration of the slowing effect was reduced from 1.5 to 1 second. Arissa's 45 was reduced from 50 to 40 percent. Anza's storm arrows projectile speed went from 125 to 110. The good old Doomfist will have to tone down his shuriken. His rising uppercut's recovery time was increased from 0.2 to 0.5 seconds. And lastly, there was a change since have you heard about the senses? The senses are very yes. Ah, God, all these senses, what is happening with all these senses? What are they doing? Oh my god, what is it? all the senses? And lastly, there was a change where Symmetra's portal is placed instantly, without the animation. Since that was not mentioned in the PTR notes and it is rather big, it is probably a bug. This will almost likely go live with the start of the Lunar New Year event, which starts in a few weeks. Yeah, that's that way. A few weeks is that way, okay? By that time, we might see a few extra tweets. Let me know what you think of all these updates below in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Follow the Omnic Post on Twitter and, of course, on Instagram. And you can find me on all those same platforms as Atomics TV. Atomics is with two eyes. I also stream three days a week on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Atomics TV. All the links are below in the description. So scroll down. Take it. All right. See you next week. I'm out.